it is bike night in Houston but we are out trying to do a little bit of good to the community and passing out these backpacks putting them in the hands of people who are definitely in need of them so we shall see how that goes it is 5 30 as I said before so that's prime time for a lot of the people that are out here soliciting you know and trying to earn a little bit of money and most of these people you know for them this is their opportunity to make money for a place to stay tonight food or whatever their essentials are so we don't want to interfere with that too much but at the same time we want to find someone that uh, looks like they would be in need of what we have to offer for them As you can see, the traffic is horrendous, horrendous. And this is about norm for this time of the day on this street. So the other thing you got to concern yourself with is making sure you don't get run over. <laughs> yeah. So I tell you guys so far, this new GoPro setup, I'm getting used to it day by day. The biggest problem that I've had with it so far is that it's chin mounted and I'm so accustomed to having that helmet mount off to the side. So I keep banging it on the things and <laughs> hitting it with my hand when I'm raising up my uh, visor and closing it. But it's like anything else, you'll eventually get used to it. So this area right here is I-10 and Highway 6 and almost any time of the week you would find some homeless people out here collecting panhandling or something along the line and this is the heavy traffic time so we'll see what we find a few of them you'll find them under the bridge or over by one of these convenience stores if they're not out here they also have to contend with you know law enforcement things like that because technically what they're doing is illegal so we have to look at it also from that perspective i mean i see a few people under the bridge right now and i'm pretty sure there's going to be some over here at this shell station So we'll see what we find. I mean, I see somebody out there that has a lot of what looks like clothes and bags and any number of different things they have out there. So, you know, when you're on the streets, you know, you're literally carrying your house with you everywhere you go. I mean, as sad as it is, it's true. So usually during the warm months, this area over here under this bridge you would find any, at any given time, you know, 10, 15, 20 different people um, living under this bridge. We probably could have just rode up here, but I'm probably better off not because all that will do is attract the police. So we're going to try and avoid that. What's up, fellas? How's it going? Y'all all right? All right. How you doing? We're putting together something every month to come out, you know, to where you guys are and drop off things to you. If you were to be able to say one thing that you guys really need out here, what would it be? Um, I need, I need underwear, I need underwear and, and socks. Socks, underwear? Yeah. Okay. What about you? Shoes. Shoes? I got you. So what what do you guys do for food out here? Where do you where do you get your food from? So most of your your what you're consuming you're you're getting from donations, right? Everything I I've been sleeping on these rocks for years. I ain't giving from Texas. I don't know nobody in Texas. I see. So what everything I get. I get from here. I ain't got no aunties, no cousins. I moved down here with a woman and she died like 23 days after I moved here. Her family was here. So everything that I get from out here, I keep right here from these rocks to them just back and forth. Somebody give me nothing. So if I, if I may ask, just yes, out of sir. curiosity, yes, 
how did you wind up in this situation? Hey, I, uh, I'm from North Carolina. I, uh, I, I, had, I had my own business doing floors, buffing, waxing, stripping. I did that for about 13 years down in South Carolina. And I've been married to the same woman for about 26 years. And um, I started working with a corporation, traveling around the world like a multi-million dollar corporation, about 263 of us. We travel like 41 states a year. And um, I met a woman from here. She was from Old Spanish Trail. And I trained her and, you know, we were going together for about a year. So when she said, well, you know, we got a lot of hospitals down in Texas. I said, well, I'm tired of moving, you know, state to state every 18 days. We just moved to Houston and so I could start getting a job at the hospitals, you know, and then I could start my business there. And uh, they just fell through the roof, you know what I mean? After that, I couldn't pay my bills. They repo my car, so I just came out here. One day and sat down there, it was the 131 day and sat down there and just started sleeping out here. After a while, probably about, about four or five months, there were about five people out here. Then after like a year, there were about 10 to 12 people out here. And then after like two years, there were about eight or nine people sleeping out here, but they just faded away. You know what I'm saying? Now it's only about four or five, four of us that sleep out here, really. But it was right then, but I just been out here a long time, so when we say predicament, like right now, it took me a long time for to get myself back together, to get my identification, you know what I mean? I'm just getting that now. I just got a Texas registration Corps like two weeks ago, but my birth certificate and stuff, they wouldn't accept down here at Texas DPS, and so I had to get a lot more stuff for to get myself together for to get back on my feet, so this is, I'm about to try to get a job, man, this man over here, and let me, I cut the ground today, but yesterday, own this store, I just like all of these people over here, and I'm really like a business owner. Just, just like not, not to judge because I've been around some of the people I'm 42, and, and, and this is my first time ever being homeless. But it's not so much as to say as if you know, like, oh, you supposed to be homeless, you not supposed to be homeless, you the type. Because most of the people that I done ran across, either intelligent or at one point in time, not so much as if they didn't have their stuff together, but realize where they crashed at when they failed. But once you go all the way down rock bottom, it's a struggle to get back up. It, it's not so much as saying, why don't you go down to the shelter? You could go down to the shelter, and I've been down to the shelter of several times, but there's so many people that really don't care about being homeless until when it get cold, they'll go pile up in the shelter. As soon as it get warm and they ain't got no responsibilities, they can come back out here. So the people that really do need to be in the shelter, they so crowded up in the back there so long they want you to get in the program. And if you get in the program, which is subject to be good, but only if you on drugs or whatever that program is for. I'm not on drugs. See, I left the drugs alone like 14, 15 years ago. And so it's not, they don't have a work program saying, well, okay, well, can I stay here for 30 days while I can get a job because I need to take a shower every day. If I get a job, these people ain't it's hard for you to keep a job when you're outside. You know what I mean? So when you say, what do you need? As far as like financially, I really don't need nothing. If you, you know, if, if you got some yards for me to cut, or you got some shingles for me to put on, I know how to use a nail gun. I took culinary arts, you know what I mean? I know how to use a deep fry and a tilt grill, you know what I mean? I can write a little bit. I ain't no rocket scientist, but I took psychology 101 in the sixth edition, you know what I mean? I don't need no money. I, I, I already know how to fish. You ain't got to give me a fish. I already been taught how to fish. I need you to take me to the river. I'm here. I'm here. Well, I feel like I'm blessed to even meet you, brother. I got something for you. Yes, sir. You know what? I really put, and I was just sitting there talking about it a few minutes ago. And and and, and 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 when we say that Adam used to meet God every day at the same time, at the same place in the cool of the evening. Why don't you take this and go through it, take a look at some of the stuff that we brought for you. Sir, you go through it and anything you want me to have, I need it because I really Everything have. that's in that bag belongs to you, including the bag. Thank so you. I want you to see what's in there because we want to start bringing stuff like this out here all the time. Well, you might want to put it over there because there's some cans and stuff. I yeah, I didn't want it on. Yeah, there you go. Whatever, whatever works for you, man. Yeah, yeah. I always, but I, I sleep outside. I mean, it's enough for me to. Sleep. Hey, I yeah. understand. Trust me, I understand. Hey, you know what? This is exactly what I need. This is exactly what I need, and I want to tell you something. Check your other pocket. Yeah. 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 
really did. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, Mr. Samurai. And this, listen to me, Mr. Samurai. When I tell you that God gave me a whole kingdom, um, my last name is Conway. My last name is Conway. Um, I've been sleeping out here on these rocks almost four years. When I tell you that he did me just like Job, when I tell you that he took my wife, took my kids, I was working for a multi-million dollar corporation, laid me down on this ground for four years and let earthworms come through my body. When I say connected me to the spiritual body and Corinthians 12, when I tell you they was calling MHRA because demons was dragging me up and down them rocks. When I say God has given me anointing that he hasn't given nobody in 1300 years, he told Paul, when Peter walked in and Paul was with Barbaeus and Peter went and sat down to the other table, Paul got up, the Bible say face to face and told him, say, look, we believe in the same God just because I teach the uncircumcised and you teach the circumcised, you make your Barbaeus think that y'all are cleaner people than me. And we believe in the same God. See, when I say that he hasn't given anyone the anointing to teach the circumcised and the uncircumcised in 1300 years, when I tell you, A, as in A, you see the Trinity with the bar across, you see the all seeing eye, A, B, C as in Christ, D again, in the middle of the Trinity, A, D, B, C, that's impossible. That's a trick of Satan. God said the last nation that he gave me is A, B, C, D, E, L, G, because he had an alphabet set in order. Adam brought Christ, death, through Eve, from God, is the way that the Holy Trinity is supposed to be. Yeah, he was telling me that he comes over here and he cleans up, and he cleans the, you know, the area. You know, of course, they're not paying him much, but... At that point, something is better than nothing. You know what I mean? You know, fellas, that's what it's all about. You know, for every little bit of good that we can do, to brighten someone else's day you know that's one step forward into a positive world and it's all up to us to do our part to try and make that world a reality so as i said before in the previous videos if you guys can't afford to put together these backpacks you know start off with something as simple as you know buying a case of bottled water and you know getting out and just driving around and giving away water You know, every little bit helps. I can't emphasize that enough. And a lot of these people, man, they really just want somebody to talk to. They want somebody to hear their stories. They want someone to show them that all the things that they've dealt with in their lives meant something. Even if it just means something to them. So take a few minutes out of your day and if you know you're dealing with someone that's having these issues and they need help try to give them if nothing else a few minutes to listen to their plight and if you can help do so because you will be repaid tenfold I've always believed that all right guys it's your boy Rome I'm out it's bike night so we finna go get into mischief <laughs> <laughs> you already know don't forget to subscribe share like my video and uh, if you guys have anything you want to talk about related to this video please 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 leave it down in the comments keep it nice keep it friendly and um, I'll be more than happy to comment on it especially if it's anything that I can actually comment on and we'll move forward from there I'll catch you guys in the next video peace